hello guys welcome back to learning microcontrollers in this video i am going to show you how to interface a l293 d ic with a pic 16 f 7 a microcontroller using micro c for pic coding and protea simulation so let's get started so guys this is our l293 d ic having 16 pins this is supposed a top view of our l293 d ic let me show you how it works this ic has two gates so if in, you can control two motors in one time so let me show you how it works the pin if you hold this ic like this then from the top view on the left you have enable pin that is pin number one en1 this enable one is labeled in the data sheet as en1 because it will enable only the gate one these two outputs output one and output two on the data sheet represents gate number one only output one and two are only operatable if enable one gets a five volt you have to give five voltages to this pin to enable these two outputs and then in the center of ic on left and right on both side pin number four and five they are ground and its opposite as well are grounds these four pins are ground they have to be shorted and sent to the common ground to make the ic work next thing that is pin number eight on the left side is the vs pin vs this ic has two power pins one is the vs vs is the power for this ic you have to power up this ic using a 5 volt power you will use the same power given to the pic microcontroller to power up this ic pic and the l293 d ic both work on 5 volt and next thing is the vss this is pin number 16 pin number 16 is vss pin of this ic and it is the power for the motor it is the power which will be given to these outputs. It is not necessary that you always collect, collect the motor. You can also connect other stuffs as well, which require higher load to operate, like LEDs, LEDs, etc. So, in that case, you have to give power to this VSS. Remember, max voltage which L293D can hold is 12 volt. It is mentioned in the data that it can go up to 36 volt, but in reality, it is not possible because this IC will blow up. If you want to go above 12 volt, then you have to use some very good quality heat sinks to make this IC bear the heat dissipation. Without proper heat sinks, you cannot go above 12 volts. So keep in mind that its max limit is 12 volt without the heat sink. So guys, next thing is the second gate. Second gate has another, another enable pin as, at pin number 9. This is EN2 pin. EN2 pin is a PN, uh, pin number 9. And this pin if given 5 volt if you give 5 volt to en2 pin only then the o3 and o4 output number 3 and 4 gets enabled these output o3 and o4 are the gate 2 so on the right of this ic is our gate 2 on the left of this ic is our gate number 1 you can use only one gate if you want if your application requires only one gate it's okay you can use one gate so o3 and o4 are for the gate number 2 for that you have to give 5 volt to enable 2 pin to enable these O3 and O4 output. Now guys, on the left side pin number 2 and pin number 7 are IN1 and IN2 pin. As you know H bridge always operates using 4 inputs. IN1 and IN2 are the 2 inputs which will be used. And then on the right side we have IN3 and IN4. They are the second 2 inputs that we will choose. So in this way guys, we have total 4 inputs, IN1, IN2, IN3, IN4. Because every edge bridge requires 4 inputs to operate. So guys, this is the total pin configuration of our l 293 d IC. So let me show you how to connect it with the PIC 16 f 7 a Then we will move on to Proteus. So guys, this is our PIC 16 f 7 a microcontroller having 40 pins. This is a DIP version. This is our l 293 d IC I just discussed a few moments ago. So guys. This is our enable one pin. It will go to the VCC pin directly like this. You will send it straight to the VCC pin to enable it. Enable the gate one. Then you also do the same with the enable two pin. Enable two pin will also go to the VCC five volt supply of the pick to enable it. And then VS pin that is the power of this IC will also go to the five volt supply. You have to common these three pins and send them to the five volt supply. Then guys, these four grounds, they have to be shorted together. And then you send them to the common ground. Now guys, next thing is our input 1 pin. You can use any available digital input output pin of the PIC 16 fa 7 a microcontroller for this. I am using pin number B7. For input 2 pin, I am using pin number B6. 
फोर इनपुट थ्री आई एम यूजिंग बी फाइव फोर इनपुट फोर आई एम यूजिंग बी फोर नाउ आई विल यूज दीज फोर वायर्स टू कंट्रोल द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द मोटर्स नाउ गाइज अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस यू कैन सी ओ वन एंड ओ टू आर द गेट्स ओ थ्री एंड ओ फोर आर द गेट्स अनेबल वन अनेबल ओनली ओ वन एंड ओ टू अनेबल टू अनेबल ओ थ्री एंड ओ फोर सेकेंड गेट so in this case i will use two motors one on each gate now as you know each motor has two connections which you can connect you connect one to the o1 and other to the o2 similarly for the other motor i connect one to the o3 and other to the o4 in this way our connections are complete now we can move on to programming but before that let me tell you this vss pin this is the power supply for this motor you have to connect a battery or external supply you will not short this to the vs at all this will cause the pick to malfunction because it will draw a lot of current which will cause a pick to reset you will connect an external supply like uh, another 5 volt supply or 10 volt or 12 volt and then you will connect the ground to the common ground supply here and ground to the common ground in this way your vss will be connected so let let's get to the proteus so guys this is our proteus let me zoom it in okay click on isis okay uh, first of all write pic 16 fa77a in the pic devices this is the microcontroller place it anywhere on the screen like this go back to the devices pick a device l293d write it down you get this ic take it place it somewhere then you need the motor write down motor here you got the simple dc motor you place it two motors one for each gate like this like this now guys next thing is simply do the wiring okay as shown in the presentation i have connected b7 to in1 this is b7 b6 to in2 b5 to in3 and b4 to in4 and these enable one and enable two pins get shorted and then we send it to the common power supply in the proteus you can use a common power supply in the terminals click on power you get this arrowhead type stuff you place it and you short it this will power up the enable 1 and 2 pin now you also need to power up the vs and vcc in the simulation you can use the same but in reality you cannot short them together this will not work in reality you have to give vss a separate power source you give vss and ground and that is the presentation diagram you will follow you will not follow this diagram on the hardware that's why i made the presentation diagram now for these gates output 1 i connect to the one motor and output 2 i connect to the other motor similarly for output 3 i use this motor and for output 4 i use this motor for the ground pin go here in the terminals you have a ground you do this simulated ground in reality you have four ground you have to short them one ground will go to the common ground of the circuit and other ground will go to the ground of this vs power source so two grounds will be connected to this motor one of the vs power source and one of your uh, the microcontroller power source okay now our connections are complete we can head forward to the programming so let's get to our micro c for pick This is a micro C for PIC version 5.6.1. I am using. You can use the latest version as well. But in the latest version, you have to be careful about capital and small letters. Rest is same. L293D demo learning microcontroller. That is the name I just wrote. So PIC 16 FA77A is a microcontroller I am using. 20 megahertz is the crystal I am using. Click on next, 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 and finish. this is where our coding starts so first of all you initialize the port b because we are using 
pins of the port B as output pin. Initialize the complete port 0 cross 0 0 as an output port and you give it the initial state. Initially 0 0 port B must be at 0. That initially all the pins of the port B have 0 value. One hundred. Okay. Now we can head forward to the forever loop. Write while one. Start writing from here. Write down the commands port and also comment it. In one is equal to B seven. Now In two is equal to B six. Copy this whole so you remember it while programming. Because you have to be careful about it. If you are using any other microcontroller of the uh, PIC, then you only have to change this configuration. Rest will remain the same. Coding will remain the same. IN3 is 5 and IN4 is 4, B4. Okay. Now, first of all, port B dot F7, that is pin B7, I make it go 0 and port B dot F6 also equals to 0. Let me show you what will happen. This is what is going to happen. So let's build the code. Okay, it's built successfully. Now let's run it. In this stage, the output 1 and 2 motors should do something. Now let me show you what it do. I double click, set the crystal to 20 megahertz, select The program I just wrote. This is the program. I click OK. I run. Okay, simulation is running, but the motor didn't move. See, it is receiving 00. zero. At 00, zero, motor do not work. This is the this is the you can say requirement of the H bridge. What is going to happen is that let me show you. In case of an H bridge at 0, 0. I and 1 and I and 2 both 0, no movement. Okay, now I check it at 1, 1. I copy it. At 1, 1, let's see what happens. I build the code again. Now see what happens. At 1, 1, I click run. See, now these are red. Both are receiving 1. Output 1, 2, still no movement. This means I and 0, uh, if both the pins are 0 and if both the pins are 1, it means break, stop. See, now I do is that I make the 0. I make 1, 0 and other 1. Only of the gate 1. Now see what happens. We are only dealing with the gate 1 right now. See, it moves in one direction after 1, 0. If I and 1 is 1 and I and 2 is 0, it will move in one direction. See, if I and 1 is 1 and I and 2 is 0, it moves in one direction. Now I do the opposite. I make I and 2 1. I go back. Now I do the opposite. I make this 0 and this 1. Now let's see what happens. Go back to the Proteus. Click on run. Now see it runs in the opposite direction. So what you can derive is that if I and 1 is 1 and other is 0, it will move the motor in one direction. If this is 1, this is 0, motor will move in the other direction. So I simply make it more shorter for you. Now let's go back to the micro C. Let me show you another thing. See, I simply remove this command. I only need F7, I make F7 1. See, I am not writing the other command because initially the other pin is already at 0. So what should happen? See, it is moving in one direction. See, it only needs one pin to operate if other is already at zero. If you only want to control it one direction, you only need one pin. Now I want to go the other direction. 
I make it F6. F7 is already 0 because we had initialized it as a 0. This will optimize your code. See, it rotates in the opposite direction. So, only one in input needs to be 1, other to be 0 to make the motor work. If you want to stop the motor, either make it go high or low. Both 0, both 1, it means no movement. If this is 1, 1 direction. If this is 1, 1 direction. Other must be 0. Now for the gate 2, it is exactly the same. Only thing changes that I1 and I2 is replaced by I and 3 and I and 4. And output 1 and 2 is replaced by 3 and 4. This IC has two gates. Now we go with the second gate. So on the second gate, I and 3 is at B5 and I and 4 is at B4. Now I make it B6. I also do the same port B dot F5 equals to 1 because other pin that is B4 is already 0 because whole port is initially at 0. So let's go. Now see what happens. I click run. Simulation runs. See both are working. See they are working. Now I make them go in one direction. Now what I am going to do this at is that I am going to write a program. I make a program that put b dot f6 f7 equals to 1 and port b dot it gives delay delay ms 500 that is after a half second port b7 will stop it will go 0 and port b6 will go 1 that this means the motor change direction and then it will run in the opposite direction and at the same time the other port port number b5 will exactly do, do the same it will also run in one direction and after half second it will stop and other pin that is b.f4 will become 1 so both the motor will move in one direction and then they both will stop and then they both will move in the other direction and then they both will stop and again it will follow all over again like this give it the initial stage because in the forever loop it will not go back to the one time loop like this so what is happening here is that IN1 and IN2 will move in one direction both the IN1 and IN3 are given one it means motor moves in one direction then both the I and 1 and I and 3 are 0 now. Other pins are 1. It means they will move in the opposite direction. And then it, they will stop and then they will keep on repeating. Let's run this code. Build it. Check for errors. No errors. Go back. Click on run. Now see. It is following our code exactly the same way. See. So guys, this is simple how to use L293 3D module. I had tried to explain it in details. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any queries or questions, please do ask in the comment below. Thank you very much for your time and have a nice day.